Hi, this is Key from Echo Ceramics. I'd like to show you how to make a chuck. Let's get started. I have four pounds of white stoneware, wedged and ready. Condition the clay. If you don't like to cone, it's purely up to you. Coning is a real smart way and not muscling the clay. And I always try to do everything no more than four times. Otherwise you'll end up overworking the clay. Drill. And you don't need much of a base. You're going to leave a bare minimum amount of clay. So there's virtually none, but there's a tiny bit to keep the clay circular. I'm going to squeeze in and then I'm ready to pull. First pull. Just cleaning it up, getting it nice and even. So one of the main things that's different about a chuck is that you don't need to make it thin. You actually don't want it thin. You actually want a pretty good thickness on there so it retains its shape. And also, you're gonna use this over and over after it's been bisque. So I'm gonna do my second pull, lightly pulling. So if you make, what do you need a chuck? Well, you need a chuck because if you make mainly bottles or anything that has a very delicate or small opening. So you could invert it in to the chuck so that is stable. So I'm gonna use a wooden rib to give it a little bit of waistline. If you think of an hourglass shape on the middle part of it. <clears throat> so the main thing that's really important with the chuck is that you just wanna make sure it's center as it possibly can be. You don't want it to shake or sway from one side to the other. So I'm gonna use this rib and this chuck, you can use it either side. And can you make the waist really tiny? You can, but I don't see the big use for making a tiny opening on the middle part of it. Give it a little flare at the top and on the underside, We'll take care of that in trimming. So if you make different size bottles, you'll need different size chucks. So you would have a large one here, a little smaller one right here, and then it has two different sides, and then this is right in the middle. Thanks for watching.